Hi, you guys, and welcome back. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Uh, welcome to those of you new just tuning in. This is the Daily Telepathy for those of you that identify with the Twin Flame Connection. So if you're new, this is just designed to be just a little quick update on your person uh, situation. Okay, so also just to let you guys know, for those of you new, um, I do the Daily Telepathy uh, mostly five days a week, only uh, three days on YouTube and an additional two days on my Patreon. So if you're looking to get more uh, this, you know, daily, um, the link to my Patreon is below. Okay. So this is a general reading for the collective of uh, Twin Flames. So that means it's not going to resonate with everyone. So please keep that in mind if you start to feel confused or anything. I do offer personal reading. So if you're interested in me looking into your personal situation and booking a reading with me, that information is going to be below the video description where it says show more, as well as all the decks I'm using here today. All the items you see, except for the Christmas items, um, my Instagram information, and the candles are listed uh, below, okay? I'm using the love letter candle for manifestation of this reading. So what I'm going to do is get um, both the masculine and the feminine energy and their shared energy. If you hear me say he or she, I'm referring to energies and not a specific gender. So the masculine or feminine can be male or female. Just take it how it applies if it's resonating for your situation. And also you may hear me say you. Um, this could be your energy or it could be somebody or, or your twin that you're uh, thinking of. Okay. Um, so just, you know, you'll know how it applies in your situation. Okay. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. All right. So this is the numer numerology um, guidance cards. So this is the energy the masculine is in towards the feminine today. So we have pride. Okay. This came up for, I think on the Patreon recently so i think it was yesterday um uh reading so there's this energy around pride where this masculine is really either in this energy uh, thinking about pride or having a lot of pride or letting it down so we have 19 um that can be significant i'm going to see why that card is there why the energy of the masculine is uh pride towards the feminine so this is the feminine's energy we have number 85, so follow your dreams. So the feminine um, could be in this energy where she may see the masculine as, um, you know, a dream come true, but I do feel like with this energy, she's kind of focusing on her own personal dreams at this time. I don't feel like so much focus on the masculine. Um, so we have 85, that could be significant. It's also uh, 13, and that breaks down to a four. Okay, so let's go ahead and see um, their shared energy. So we have number eight, manifestation. So they're both in this manifestation energy where they can be um, drawing each other in or wanting to draw each other back in. Um, something could be manifested between the two of them without one, uh, one not knowing what the other one is doing. That's also kind of the energy that I'm getting. So let's go ahead and see why is this the masculine in this energy of pride. Why is this pride here towards the feminine? This is the golden art nouveau tarot. Okay, we have lovers here. Hmm. All right. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Gemini. Does it mean so? But this is twin flame energy. This is also the number six. So this masculine could be wanting to balance out this energy. Um, when it comes to the feminine, you may be seeing that the pride, its pride may have affected this connection, uh, affected the passion, affected the love, um, all, you know, all this type of, uh, energy, but this is definitely like a confirmation of twin flame energy because that's my twin flame card. Um, so it, again, it has to do with love and romance and it, this masculine could be realizing that they let, um, their pride affect this connection. So why is this feminine and this energy towards follow your dreams when it comes to the masculine? <laughs> Closing the chapter, okay? So I'm, I'm laughing. It's not funny unless it's funny to some people, but I, I laugh at weird stuff. Um, anyways, 
um, this is closing a chapter, okay? So I feel like the feminine is um, really not focused on the masculine at this time. That's really just what I'm getting. I feel like she's just focused on following her dreams, whatever that is, you know, whether that is uh, to pursue other relationships, uh, career, uh, projects, spirituality, all of that energy. Because the world card is about closing a chapter, but it also indicates a new beginning coming in. Sometimes it can indicate a reunion in certain situations. So let's see what is they uh, both in this energy of manifestation with that number eight is also associated with twin flame connection with the infinity symbol. Um, sometimes it could be just something that has been looping, but I feel like um, this is about manifesting something. So what is this manifestation energy that they are sharing? Okay, this is a king of swords. Okay, this is about, uh, King of Swords is about the leader in communication of thoughts, clarity, uh, communicating things, you know, um, from a logical standpoint and not putting the emotions in here. But I do feel like there is some manifest manifestation regarding some type of communication, but logically thinking. So they're both in this energy of uh, using their their thought process um, when it comes to a situation. Now the feminine could be in this energy where she's thinking about you know focusing on her life and you know whatever is she's focused on uh, relationships. And this masculine masculine could be uh, manifested. <laughs> if I can speak, sorry, that was my watch at the table. The and the masculine is maybe in this energy of manifesting some type of communication with the feminine okay something is in his head he's thinking a lot uh you know um as well she's thinking as well too but for different reasons so this is my twin flame messages um this is available below if you live in the united states you can get this from my site or my etsy shop but if you're international interested in any of my decks please send me an email below and i will send you the link to order so let's get five messages from the masculine to the feminine at this time I just can't stop loving you. See, and that's the reason why this masculine um, is in this energy of realizing that they were in this prideful energy. It also could have been like, um, I'm getting like uh, the strength card, you know, so much in their ego, um, you know, worried about how they looked and all that stuff. But now they realizing something different when it comes to the feminine because they've also realized that they just can't stop loving you and so that's why they're in their head when it comes to you so let's go ahead and see what else do we have here you are very attractive so they find you very attractive um you know inside and out but i feel like that's more of a passionate energy so they may be drawn to you sexually right now and may just see you as just you know such a beautiful uh, person you know male or female you know however it applies in your situation they just see you as you know beautiful handsome um whatever like i said what however it applies but they are very attracted to you and they're very drawn to you um because of your your beauty i feel really bad for how i treated you so this masculine also is letting you know they feel really bad for how they treated you when they had this deep love for you they let the pride get in their way and they might not have expressed you know their emotions they were more in that king of swords energy uh some of you could be dealing with um air signs uh, gemini libra and aquarius because we do have that gemini uh, energy there um so let's go ahead and get another two cards here i'm thinking about a time we spent together see this masculine is really thinking about a time that you guys spent together maybe he was like really in his pride and ego even though he was very attractive to you he couldn't get out of that energy where he was you know very um focusing on his ego even though there was so much passion so there's a lot of uh his thoughts are really like affecting him as far as this pride and ego okay and he may have treated you poorly you know maybe um you know, whatever the situation was, maybe wasn't focused on you, maybe was focused on other things, maybe was distracted. I never thought we would be apart this long. So this is also another thing that is bothering in the, the masculine. So this is a confirmation that you guys have been in separation for a while and 
this is causing masculine to uh, think a great deal about this connection, think a great deal about how they treated you. And now they're also thinking about the time that you guys uh, spend together. So this is my situation stack. This is uh, back in stock um, and it's also available below. Okay. So let's see. I just can't stop loving you. Let's get some more energies uh, under here. So we have financial support. Okay. So this, what I'm getting with this energy is this masculine could have allowed this uh, need for financial support affect the connection. So that would be why the pride and ego factor would have been in, you know, in came in between the two of you guys. Maybe that is the reason why he treated you a certain way. So we have financial support, child alimony government. So it could have to do with anything like that. Um, you know, could be connected to a child or somebody that don't want to pay child support or al alimony support or somebody that is uh, getting some type of, um, you know, government uh, aid. So I'm going to get more specific as to uh, what this was. So this could have been their pride and ego too, of where they were just so focused on this. Um, and they come to some type of realization regarding the situation that they can't stop loving you. Um, even though they may still be involved in a situation regarding finances, but I feel like this is um, something that is they're starting to realize. OK, so I'm also getting like a uh, feminine energy here that some of you guys could be focused on your financial support this time. That's where you place in your love um, as well. That, that can be just for some. Um, that's not necessarily going to be with everybody. So let's go ahead and get what's under. You are very attractive. So we have plugged. Okay. Tuned in, internet connected. So what I'm getting is this masculine is looking at you um, on the internet. They're very, uh, the plugged energy is there. They're very tuned into you right now. Okay. They're wanting to be drawn to you. Um, I mean, they're being drawn to you. They also may be accessing um, you or your pictures or looking at you. Maybe you posted something recently and, you know, maybe you had, you know, I like to say dolled yourself up, you know, whether that was makeup or you just, you know, groomed yourself, however this applies in your situation. And um, they saw you on the internet and this is uh, sparking that desire for you. Okay. And also desiring that, um, that also I'm getting like they, maybe they want to support you. Like they want to come forth in this connection uh, in some type of support. Is also what I'm getting. Sometimes this financial support can just be about support. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. Um, this is my mystery house deck, also available below. So let's see. I feel really bad for how I treated you. What does this have to do with? What? How did they treat you? What did this have to do with? Okay, spider web. Okay, they were caught lies or deceit any of that or all of that um they treated you they they uh lied to you um so they were caught in some type of uh, deceit or deception and they didn't know how to get out of that web and so they just lied about maybe the reason why um they um did whatever they did at the time they just weren't truthful okay they were more worried about their pride and ego and so they lied okay and so we'll get more into that and extend it. So your person is thinking about a time we spent together. So let's go ahead and I'm going to use this one. I'm thinking about a time we spent together. What does this have to do with? Insatiable, unquenchable, wanting more. So this I'm really getting up a strong uh, energy here that this was a time that you and your masculine spent together. And they have this insatiable energy for you, unquenchable, wanting more, or maybe you were wanting more. And then they let pr their pride and ego uh, get in, involved in the situation and they lied about, you know, whatever it is. OK, you know, maybe they were focused on their money. Maybe they were, you know, just, uh, you know, just not there. But 
they're thinking about this time that you guys spent together where they kind of really didn't come through for you. Okay. Um, they either, they were in this energy or the both were, but then something happened. Some, they got caught in some type of lie. Um, you know, and it kind of like ruined the mood also is what I'm getting. Okay. So let's go ahead and see. Um, I never thought we would be apart this long. What does this have to do with So paranormal, unique, one of a kind. So they realize that this connection is unique, okay? It's one of a kind. They didn't realize they were gonna be apart from you this long. Maybe they thought you guys were gonna to come together sooner, but because of the fact that they allow their pride to get in, involved in this connection um, by lying or ruining the mood, I'm getting like in, in like you guys might've been involved in a passionate situation and they let that stuff get in the way, maybe because of some financial issue, but this masculine is now um, watching you. They're really tuned into this and they're really wanting to, I feel like they're wanting to go forward with this connection. That's also what I'm getting from the pride uh, energy. Okay, so uh, if this resonated with you guys, uh, please like, comment, share, and if you're new, subscribe. I'm gonna take this over to the extended now where I'm gonna get further into these energies of what's going on with, with the masculine, why, these, uh, why they're really you know in their head right now, okay? And so if you're interested, that link is gonna be below as well as everything else here. Um, so I wanna thank each and every one of you for watching. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are, and until next time, next video, Peace, love, and light.